state-owned aquatic lands are those lands that are managed by the Department of Natural Resources and belong to the state of Washington and being managed for the people of the state of Washington as a trust for the balance of public benefits. It's a long and complicated story. At statehood, the intertidal and subtidal lands of Puget Sound, beds of navigable rivers and streams and lakes were given to the state by the federal government. The state then turned around and sold those tide lands to private individuals that wanted them, but maintained ownership of the bedlands, which are basically those lands below the water at all times. The bedlands are almost always in public ownership. The bedland is that area below extreme low tide. When the tide goes out as far as it ever goes, below that is by and large public. The tidelands, that area that is between the high and the low tides, can either be public or private. It originally was all public, and about 60 to 70 percent of it has been sold off. The remainder is in public ownership. DNR may or may not actually manage that land. In other words, there may be other public entities that own that land. And then the uplands are usually private. In the case of freshwater, similar kind of situation. If it's the uh, area that's always covered by water, that it is, by and large, public ownership. The shorelands, again, can be either public or private, which is kind of the, that narrow strip between when there's a high water and a low water, say in a flood or not in a flood. And then the upland is usually private with the same kind of stipulations on it.